You know, it's extremely fitting that not only am I in New York, where the show Friends took place, but it's very gloomy and even drizzling outside, which represents the feelings as I make this video. Um, I remember some years back, Matthew Perry had substituted for Pierce Morgan on his show and had Lisa Kudrow, and this question came up. I, don't, I forget if it was Lisa Kudrow who brought it up or Matthew Perry, I think it was Matthew Perry. And he asked her, would you have wanted the show to keep going? And Lisa Kudrow said, yeah. And I think she put the question back on him and he goes, I, I would have liked it to have kept going. I think just in that, in that meeting where we all said, let's stop, I, I probably would have said, hey, let's not stop, <laughs> you know? Yeah, me too. It left a fraction of hope in my heart, this naive part of my soul that maybe, just maybe, they would come back together and do some kind of reunion show, as impossible as that might seem. I was obviously as excited as everybody else when they did the reunion show for HBO. That left me with some hope that they might come back together. I got the news last night uh, in a group text with some friends, and the first place my brain went was denial, as it usually does whenever you get some like crazy news like this. After the denial passed, I was just like, wow, like I can't believe that this is real. To say that Matthew Perry had an impact on my personality and my childhood would be an understatement. I watched the show Friends so religiously that years ago when I was working in a cubicle at Yahoo, I would play the show in the background on YouTube and I, it's like I didn't even need to see it. I knew it in my mind so well just off of the audio and that just helped to get me through some rough days at work. Um, you know, just playing all the clips that were that people had uploaded. It, it was like I had friends while I was at work, just like in my mind, while I was just, you know, whittling away on these listings for yahoo.com. Matthew Perry had this very unique ability to be quirky and likable, you know, like awkward, but funny and charming all at the same time. You know, he brought that obviously to his character Chandler and friends and without hesitation, whenever someone would ask me, who's your favorite character from Friends, it was Chandler. Every role I saw him in, he was able to bring that. Even in interviews, you know, you'd see this sort of awkward quirkiness and charm all wrapped up into a single person. And it was cool. It was like, in a weird way, it's like it made a lot of people, his character and him made a lot of people felt seen, you know, because he wasn't the cool guy. He wasn't Joey, he wasn't smooth at all but he was so interesting and so sarcastic. I watched a lot of his other work as well. And for that reason, you know, the show Friends is, it's like, it's, it's in syndication globally. It's, it still gains new audience even to this day. And it's kind of crazy to think about just the impact that he's had on so many people's lives in so many different languages. And I feel like a lot of people around the world are gonna feel this, you know? Just that sadness. And ideally, you know, we're able to convert that into just remembering what he brought to our lives, remembering the way he impacted us positively. I'm thankful for friends and, and Chandler in particular helping to get me through the rough childhood that my brother and I shared through through high school through college and beyond I've played that show I've, I've so many times I've bought it so many times whether it was like a few episodes that they were selling on DVD or the whole series each season as it came out I bought it on DVD then I bought the box set for blu-ray if it, if it came out on 4k blu-ray I'd buy it again um, it's up there as one of my top three favorite shows of all time. I, I wish, obviously, that this was different, that he was still here. I'm really sad because he just put out a book and he was talking about what he was able to overcome. And he was like a point of inspiration for a lot of people who were also going through rough times themselves. And so, it was cool that he was vulnerably putting himself out there like that and saying, look, this is what I've gone through. And I came out the other side. It really sucks, dude. It, it, it really sucks that he's gone even like just after that, 
You know what I mean? When I when I got the text message, like I said in that group chat, like it was almost like what I experienced with Robin Williams all over again. Because it's like that can't be real. This cannot be the case. Um, but it is, and now we just gotta remember the good that he brought to our lives. Um, one thing I always tell people at the end of my live streams, <clears throat> excuse me. One thing I always tell people at the end of my live streams is to let your loved ones know you love them. Whether you're talking about friends or family, let them know you love them. If you can, FaceTime with them or, or say it to their face. Because especially in this day and age, we're so removed from each other. We're so apart when it's so much easier to connect with one another. You got to let your friends and family know that you love them. You got to say it to them because just assuming that they know isn't good enough. You never know when someone could use that information, when someone could benefit from just from hearing that, you know, that you care about them. I have no idea what Matthew Perry was dealing with. I have a vague idea of, of what I was able to, you know, like everybody else, whatever what I was able to find out. But you never know what someone's battling. You never, you never know what demons someone has inside. And so as much as you can, let your loved ones know that you love them. And I'll just leave it at that. So y'all take care, be well, and go watch some Friends. Go watch some Matthew Perry films. That's it for now. I'm Jabby Kawai. Peace out.